Hi friends, it's Jess from Early On. Today I'm going to read to you Mr. Happy Finds a Hobby by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Happy is a happy sort of fellow. He lives in Happy Land, which is a happy sort of place. Behind his house there's a wood full of happy birds, and on the other side of the wood, there's a lake full of happy fish. Now, one day not that long ago, Mr. Happy went for a walk down through the wood. As he came to the shore of the lake, he heard an unusual sound. A sound that's seldom heard in Happy Land. It was the sound of somebody moaning and grumbling. Mr. Happy peered around the trunk of a tree. At the edge of the lake, there was somebody fishing. Fishing and grumbling, and grumbling and fishing. It was Mr. Grumble. Good morning, Mr. Grumble, said Mr. Happy. Shh, shushed Mr. Grumble. Sorry, whispered Mr. Happy. Have you caught anything? Yes, I've caught a cold, grumbled Mr. Grumble. I've been sitting here all night. I hate fishing. Then why are you fishing, asked Mr. Happy. Because Mr. Quiet said it was fun. And you see, I'm trying to find something I enjoy doing. Something I can do as a hobby. Hmm, pondered Mr. Happy. I might be able to help. Come on, let's see if we can find you a hobby. As they walked along, Mr. Happy thought long and hard. And as he thought, Mr. Grumble grumbled. He grumbled about the noise the birds were making. He grumbled about having to walk. But most of all, he grumbled about not having a hobby. Grumble, grumble, grumble. First of all, they met Mr. Rush in his car. Mr. Happy explained what they were doing. What's your hobby? asked Mr. Grumble. Speed, said Mr. Rush. Hop in. And they did. Mr. Grumble very quickly decided he did not like going fast. Next, they met Little Miss Giggles. What's your hobby? What's your hobby? asked Mr. Grumble. I <laughs> like <laughs> giggling, <laughs> giggled Miss Giggles. So they went to the circus to see the clowns. Little Miss Giggles giggled. Mr. Happy laughed. And Mr. Grumble frowned. I hate custard pies, grumbled Mr. Grumble. It proved to be a very long day for Mr. Happy. They went everywhere to Little Miss Splendid's house, but Mr. Grumble did not like hats. They went to Mr. Mischief's house, but Mr. Grumble did not like practical jokes. They bounced with Mr. Bounce, and they looked through keyholes with Mr. Nosy. But nothing was right. In fact, nothing was left. Mr. Happy had run out of ideas. As the sun was setting, they saw Mr. Impossible coming toward them down the lane. Wow. 
Now, if anyone can help, that somebody ought to be Mr. Impossible, said Mr. Happy. Hello, he said. You are good at the impossible. Can you think of a hobby that Mr. Grumble would enjoy? That, said Mr. Impossible. Yes, said Mr. Happy and Mr. Grumble together. Would be impossible, said Mr. Impossible. Grrr, growled Mr. Grumble and stomped off home. It was whilst thinking, whilst drinking a cup of tea the next morning that Mr. Happy had an idea. A perfectly obvious idea. He rushed round to Mr. Grumble's house. I've got it, cried Mr. Happy. You can take up fishing. Fishing? But I hate fishing. I know. But what do you do while you're fishing, asked Mr. Happy. I don't know. You grumble, said Mr. Happy. And what do you like doing most of all? I like... And then it dawned on Mr. Grumble. I like grumbling. Mr. Grumble looked at Mr. Happy and then, for the first time in a very long time, he smiled. A very small smile, but a smile all the same. The end. <laughs>